Okay, we're in lesson four, shapes and randomization. Uh, we're about to move on to a new section, but let's review what we have learned. Uh, we have used the rectangle tool and the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool creates an oval, and the rectangle tool creates a rectangle. Uh, there are many inputs we can provide, parameters. We don't use the same parameters every time. We're going to continue on and learn a new parameter. Uh, this is a random number. Uh, this allows us to apply a random parameter using this block of code. So you can see here, uh, let's switch that to 12 blocks. Um, you can see in the ellipse code that there is a orange highlighted section here. It says random number. And then the range of values that could be acceptable for the random number. Random number. Uh, in this code, if we click run, you'll see that there is an orange circle that shows up. And if we reset and run it again, that orange circle shows up somewhere else. It is randomly been assigned a new value. Um, you can see that it just moves left and right on the screen. So in this activity, we're going to play with the random number code block within the ellipse code block in order to try to create a new set of parameters for our for our bouncing tomato here.